Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about my Mills Bowl cabinet. So I have a Mills Bowl wide and a Mills Bowl tall. I've been getting some questions about what kind of accessories I use in them and how I set them up and why do I even have them. So I hope this video answers all of your questions. So first things first, I want to talk a little bit about my history and how and why I started getting these cabinets. So at the beginning of my plant journey, I remember specifically telling my one friend, I don't get why people buy these cabinets and then put plants inside. Like, what's the point of that? I want to have plants within reach. I want them to be integrated into my home, with my decor, etc. But at the time, I didn't realize the functionalities of a cabinet. I had a lot of common plants in the beginning, of course, as most people do, that can, you know, thrive and survive in these conditions. So I live in the Canadian prairies, so it's very cold. A lot of the year at least six months of the year is like really cold winter and it's very very dry so a lot of these tropical plants that are more rare or uncommon at least in canada are not used to living in these conditions right so when i started getting into more rare plants or plants that you have to import from overseas from these tropical places where they they have high humidity and like other ideal conditions um i started realizing like oh what i have is maybe not enough for these plants to thrive in so i started getting these plastic bins from like home depot and lowe's so that i can have high humidity to acclimate these imported plants and then i started having more and more of those clear bins around the house and it was just hideous and i knew that you know i could hide them like in the basement or something where we wouldn't see them but then what's the point of having them right so that kind of led me to think okay well maybe i should get an ikea cabinet then at least i can see all of these plants that i imported every day and like check up on them without even having to go somewhere else or having to open a door or whatever so that was my reason for getting my mills bow wide which was the first cabinet that i got and then as I started importing more and more plants and also started putting plants on some moss poles, I was running out of room on the wide, especially like vertically, it's very limited. So I got a Mills Bow Tall as my second cabinet. Another benefit to having these cabinets that I really enjoy is for rehabbing plants. So plants that maybe got root rot or maybe just for like propagations where you want the roots to grow fast and you want the plant, the small propagation that you have to grow quicker than normal. So these ideal conditions are helpful for those plants. And my last one is that, you know, I have some plants that just simply cannot survive in room humidity. For example, my Hoopersia SP Hang Hong. That's one of my favorite plants, but they need at least 60% humidity to survive. So those are the main reasons I have my Millsville cabinets. It's for acclimating plants and for plants that prefer high humidity that can't really survive in my room humidity conditions. And then lastly, for rehab plants or propagations that I want to grow fast. So that's about it. Why don't we go over and I'll show you my accessories and how I have them set up. So here are my two cabinets. We'll start off with the ones on the left side. One thing before we start though, you'll notice that I have a lot of white pots in both of them. It's because I just wanted that kind of clean look. And so a lot of them are these self-watering planters from Amazon or these pots from Ikea. So let's open it right up. So the first thing that you probably notice is that I have a little thermo hygrometer in here that tells me exactly what temperature and humidity my cabinet's at. Right now it says 64% because I've had this cabinet open for a little while now while filming, but uh, it's actually usually around 80% or so. And then on the top left, I have a little white fan that's going 24 seven. It has three settings like low, medium and high. Right now I have it on the low setting and it's held on by this magnetic hook there that's from Amazon and I'll have links for everything down below. And there's a little wire going from that um, all the way outside of the cabinet down here. So I'm one of those people that didn't uh, drill a hole at the corner of my cabinet. I just didn't want to modify the cabinet in that way. So I just have everything going out the side and that's just worked really well for me. And just to keep all the wires in place, I have these little clips. Again, these are from Amazon as well. And it just helps to keep things organized. And then at the very top here for lighting, I have these Barina T5 lights from Amazon as well. And I have them held on by these magnets that look like this. And they're very strong, as you can see. And because this cabinet itself is metal, it sticks really, really well uh, without any other magnets on top. 
So I have two of these up there. Again, I have more of those uh, little clips up there to make sure that all the wires are in place. And yeah, I just have them too. It looks like one kind of in the front there and a little bit further back there. And then the next thing I have is this clear acrylic shelf. So it has these little holes for ventilation. And I got that from Ultimate Acrylics on Etsy. And ventilation is crucial for these high humidity cabinets because again, the humidity is so high that if you don't have good airflow, you might grow other things that you don't want like mold. And the last modification I made to the Millsville Wide is this weather stripping here. So it's a foam weather stripping material. I got it from Amazon and it fits perfectly between the cracks in the door. So that way the humidity stays inside instead of leaking outside. And then I also have that weather stripping kind of all along the side here. So right over here from the top to the bottom. And I also have it right at the top. So between the cabinet and the door. So that's it for my Mills Bow Wide. Let's move on to the tall. In the Mills Bow Tall, I have four lights going. So I have the same ones from Amazon, from Barina that I mentioned for my Mills Bow Wide. So I have two up there and then I have two on the side. So one over here, this is held up by like a 3M foam tape and then one on the left as well. And that way the plants can grow um, facing the lights and I have two shelves again, so on the left and on the right. And they have those ventilation holes as well. And this is also from Ultimate Acrylics on Etsy. And it's really sturdy, I really like it. And then the lights are again held on by magnets on top here from Amazon. And I have some wire clips again. It's kind of the same as the Millsville Wide. So underneath both cabinets, I have little cable organizers. So it's uh, hiding all the wires and stuff that's coming out. And then once you open it, you'll see that I have outlet timers for all the lights so that they turn on and off automatically. And I have the grow lights on for 12 hours a day and off for 12 hours a day. And again, because it's automatic, I don't have to worry about it. And I just keep everything inside here and shove it back. So that's it for my Millsville cabinets. I hope that was helpful for you guys in deciding whether you want a cabinet or not or in helping you set yours up. And I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions about it or if you have any comments or any requests for future videos, let me know down below in the comments and I'll see you next time. Bye.